My name is Janice DeWitt, and I'm a senior engineering manager for Arolia. So in advanced R&D, we do some, some discovery-driven projects where we want to maybe try out some new things, try out new technologies, try out new concepts, create prototypes. My career has spanned so many different types of projects and different experiences. I started off finding an internship in college. I, I actually had no idea that I was going to go into a computer science field at all. I was a music major. And um, I found an internship that made sense for me because I was also uh, really excited about math. So I switched my major to math and worked through that internship and then continued on with that company for 10 years. I did some web development, applications development, system administration, database administration. And then after that, I moved into DOD contracting and I worked on some defense projects. Spent about 10 years doing that. And again, with a wide range of different types of, of projects, I did some system administration for Windows, SharePoint development, SQL Server database administration, and then I did some Java development. When I left the government space, I came to Aurelia, and that was almost eight years ago. I'm a mom. I've been a mom the entire time that I've had my career. That's really important to me. My family is really important to me. And I also spend a lot of time doing music. I love the Friday playlist. Um, I think that was one of those things that we came up with during the pandemic. And I immediately was excited because one of the things that was challenging during the pandemic is that you don't see your coworkers every day. You didn't get any of that sort of water cooler kind of camaraderie going into the kitchen, saying hello, talking about your weekend. So what I think is really cool about the Friday playlist is that once a week, we kind of can just say, hey, this is what I'm listening to. This is my mood. This is how I felt this week. And then we just talk about music and it's great. Oh, goodness. It's everything. I, I think it just means every. I think it just means life to me. And the reason I say that is because when you're a kid or you're a teenager, music kind of helps you identify with a group because you usually gravitate towards a certain genre or, or a certain band or singer. And then you find people who have that common interest when you go to college or, or when you start a career somewhere or you start working with other people. Sometimes that's the best way to start talking to other people and to figure out where you have some common interests. But then I also think that there's, there's another element to that where music can help drive you or music can help comfort you or music can just be there for you to have calm or, you know, there's just so much that you can get from having music around you or in your life. And so for me, it's always been there, whether it be me listening to music, whether it be me writing my own music or playing music or having a jam session and getting with other people. I think for me, it's, it's been all of those things. Anything that happens in life, music is involved. My daughter, probably. I had my daughter when I was young. I just graduated high school and I didn't have a plan in my life. And I think that because of her, I... I really was able to just sort of focus and and do all of the things that I guess in my mind, the things that I needed to do for her to be the best parent for her, which really turns out to be the best thing for you. It's really about strength and endurance to me. Um, and I think that how that relates to, to software that I work on is that can we withstand not just can the software withstand things like, you know, performance and, and not can it be resilient within the parameters that it operates or that it's running, but also can it be res resilient um, in the market? Can Is it going to be long lasting? Is it going to be valuable? Um, to me, that's what resilience means. I think sometimes we are resilient and we don't even realize, right? I think, um, but I would say, obviously, my, my daughter, having a child really young. I also didn't have a lot of help because my family kind of moved away. And I think getting through having a child, then toddler, getting through college, getting through finding my first jobs and all of those things with that child. I think that was really my first experience with resilience and my first experience of knowing how resilient I am as a person and how much I'm capable of. My time at Arolia is also probably a time where I could show resilience. And what I mean by that, uh, not that it's been 
difficult or anything and that I needed to overcome, but I've been with Aurelia for eight years, almost eight years. And in that eight years, I have had a handful of different jobs. We've gone through a handful of different organizational changes and acquisitions. It's been continuously evolving and changing every step of the way. 